It's Christmas! So even though the world still plummets toward its eventual demise and that it's been 76 years since I've last made a video, I've still been spending every day of my miserable life buying terrible PS2 games. But seeing as it's Christmas, and I love you so much, I thought that we'd celebrate and subject ourselves to one of the maddest Phoenix Games releases that I've ever seen. Hansel and Gretel. Ever had a nightmare? Where do you even start? How about that Gretel looks like a jaundiced porcelain doll whose face has started to melt? Her ears are practically on her jawline, she has the lips of a stab wound, and has the hairline of a chemotherapy patient. Her hair, or wig, looks like someone threw a glob of custard on her head and it's dripping down her face. What's happened to your fucking head, Gretel? Then Hansel's legs have the definition of a holocaust survivor. His knees are protruding from his baggy pants, his hands are the size of his head. I mean look at how big his hands are! He has no eyelids or teeth or ears. And his hair is blonde but his eyebrows are black. They're both so deformed! Is this Hansel and Gretel or a retelling of Chernobyl? I've reviewed several of Phoenix Games's well, games on this channel, but if you've never heard of them, they're essentially a hacky games publisher who specialise in making low effort garbage and just sharting it out onto the PS2. I mean, look at some of this shit! Street Warrior. Good golly gracious, I wonder what name they were ripping off here. Clumsy Shumsy. What kind of a fucking name is Clumsy Shumsy? Air Raid 3? They never even made an Air Raid 1 or 2, why is there an Air Raid 3? But of course Phoenix games are most known, if not terrifyingly infamous, for their many releases of knockoff Disney films. Where even though it's a PS2 box, what's actually in here is a fully produced cartoon. That you just... Watch! And of course, when I say cartoon, I mean a half hour long nightmare that looks like it was designed solely to remind drug addicts what taking LSD feels like. Oh no, that was just what we're missing. A group of hooligans. Hey, you. How do we get to the area where the of the world? Fuck's sake. I still hate you people. I should also point out that the copy of this game that I bought was in Italian. All of the text on the back of the box is in Italian and the Italian flag is the only flag in the language section, so I was really worried that I wouldn't have the cartoon of this in English. But then a language select screen pops up and Italian isn't even an option! Porsa miseria! The poor Italians got shafted! So the main menu loads up and you have the characters from the cartoon on an island in the centre of the screen while a bunch of unidentifiable options circle around them. For some reason it's a tradition with Phoenix games for the characters on the cover of the game to look nothing like the characters in the actual film that they made. How can they not even get that right? They're so fucking useless! And what's up with the witch? Either she's got a serious hunchback or one of her boobs has just gone wildly astray. I mean, no judgement, I hear it happens as we get older. <laughs> Also, if you're wondering what all of these options are, in addition to the cartoon, you also get a selection of mini-games, such as a jigsaw, this uh, motion jigsaw, and a colouring book. Wow, I haven't seen such an amazing selection of mini-games since I played Phoenix Games' Dynamite 100, which was 100 games in one. Pingus! It's fucking Pong! Anyway, let's watch the cartoon. Ho ho ho! Welcome to the forest. Now, it's time for some amazing stories. Okay, I'm done. What the fuck? Did they get the only guy in the office who could speak English to do the voiceover? Listen to one of my tales full of wonders and amaze. This is, without exaggeration, the worst voiceover I've ever heard. I still can't believe that they released this! Why couldn't they have just paid an actor a fiver and gotten someone good? I'm not even joking, one time I got drunk and I went on Fiverr.com and paid a Winnie the Pooh impressionist to record some of the lines from Resident Evil. Stop! Don't open that door! Jim, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you... The master of unlocking, take it with you. That was too close. You were almost a 
Jill Sandwich. So then the narrator introduces us to Hansel and Gretel's poverty-stricken family, their dad, the woodcutter, and their evil stepmother. Why is she evil, you ask? Well, let's see what the very first thing that she says is, and you'll never guess who voices her character. Dear husband, I have a great idea. Let's take the children to the woods and leave them there to their fate. That's right. She opts to just kill the children. Fucking hell. In the original story, she at least dresses it up by saying that they'll be found by another traveler who will take care of them. But here, it's like, fuck the children, I'm hungry, husband! But, of course, there's no way that their dad would go along with this, right? The woodcutter did not want to agree to this. However, the cruel stepmother kept on nagging her husband until she finally managed to convince him. Nope, he just goes along with it too! Fucking hell, he's an even worse dad than Joseph Fritzl. So then Hansel and Gretel overhear the plan, and they're voiced by the same guy as well. Hungry wolves are going to eat us in the woods. Hush, Gretel, stop crying. We'll think up something to save ourselves. So Hansel hatches a plan and sneaks out at night and collects white glittering beads. What? Then suddenly the guy doing the voiceover is inexplicably replaced. Next morning, when the warm sun rose in the bright sky. Like, I'm not complaining, it's just odd. Then there's a huge awkward pause after his first line. The stepmother woke up the children. So the stepmother wakes up the kids and gives them both a piece of bread. After a while, four of them set off into the forest. Why the fuck did their dad bring his axe? What's he going to do, chop them up? So the kids drop the beans on the ground as they go, until they stop and make a fire. Lie down here and have some rest. Children and I will go into the forest to catch some wood. When we are finished, we'll come back for you. And the kids... just... do? What? But they overheard the plan just the night before! Why were they still expecting their dad to return? They just fall asleep by the fire and wake up lost! When they woke up, it was already dark night. Fucking idiots. Then Hansel's master plan of following the beans home is gone because birds ate them. Yeah, good job shithead. Also, what a really awful plan. Let's leave all these beans so we can find our way back to the home to the parents who wanted to kill us in the first place. Good job. And then the worst happens. No, I don't mean the kids meeting the witch. I mean the original voiceover guy returns. And suddenly, unbelievable, an old woman flew out of the cottage on a broom. What the fuck? The cartoon is only seven minutes long. How can it be this poorly executed? Welcome to my place, children. Please come in. And what is going on? In the original story, the kids don't realize that the old woman is a witch until they're trapped in her house. But here, she literally flies out on a broom. She's wearing a stereotypically pointy hat, is missing her teeth, and looks like she's 40 years into her addiction to meth. Yes, let's definitely go into her house. You know, the one that's swaying back and forth. What? Can I also just point out that the witch has a framed photo of herself hanging on the wall? Poor lonely witch. Anyway, the kids go to sleep and the witch suddenly reveals herself as evil and locks Hansel in a cage to fatten him up. Early in the morning, the witch grabbed Hansel with her bony hands and locked him in a cage. Gretel kept weeping bitterly every day. Then the cartoon suddenly remembers that in the original story, the witch is supposed to be blind and has to see how fat Hansel is getting by feeling his finger. You'll still need some more fattening up before I bake you in my oven. But Hansel outsmarts her by using a chicken bone, so she thinks that he's still skinny and doesn't eat him. There's just no meat on your bones. Not even enough for me to have a nice lunch! But because these stupid fucking developers already have had the witch riding around on a broom, the story just continues onward and Hansel uses a twig to fool the witch. Show me your finger, my dear child. Are you plump enough? Clever Hansel would stretch out a stick for her to feel. But since the witch was not very smart, she did not suspect any ploy and was very astonished. What? Why? What the fuck? 
fuck were they going for? How could someone mistake a twig for a finger? At least the original version of this story was written in 18 fucking 50. This came out in 2006. <sighs> so finally, the witch decides to eat the children, and honestly, this entire sequence has to be seen to be believed. Gretel, why don't you check and see if the oven is hot enough? But how am I going to get there? You silly girl, I'll show you how to do it. It's as simple as that. Ah, it's so hot in here. When the oven door shut, there was a whirling in the oven. She just jumped, legs spread, onto the head of a shovel. And, and then Gretel apparently just ha has the strength to pick her up and fuck her into the oven. What? What the fuck? The following morning, the children easily found their way home. How did they easily find their way home? They were brought out into the furthest depths of the forest. How? There was endless joy upon their return. What? He tried to murder them! Why are they hugging him? The father banished his vicious wife away from the home. And after that, Hansel, Gretel, and the woodcutter lived happily ever after. He was in on it! How the fuck is this game only blaming her? The children discovered many precious jewels in the witch's house, and their house was never again stricken by poverty. What the fuck are they going to do with jewels? There's no town or shop or anything. What the fuck? And, and, and that's it? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I mean, how can they make an animation this bad? Is it real? Was I spiked? I feel like I'm losing my grip on, on reality. Uh, shiny beans. Crack, crack addicts. Melting face. Why can I feel my eyes? Tenants! Merry Christmas! Ha ha ha! You're my best friend! Let's go on an adventure! Christmas everybody! Thank you so much for watching this review, I hope you all enjoyed it, I know it's been a long time. Before I go, please do go and follow me over on Twitch, where I often get drunk and play even more terrible games, uh, along with the cult. The link is in the description below, as well as my Twitter and uh, Patreon, and depending on how tragic things get, my OnlyFans. Who wants nudes? Anyone want nudes? No, I guess not. Happy Christmas! See you soon. I found this. It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. <laughs>